Hi guys, press the bell button and then subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do oil pastel and I will show you the basic tricks. So, I if you like this video, like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon and then let's start. So guys, this is my oil pastel that I use. I got I got this from Michaels. There's a junior artist cray pass. I got X. If you're good at oil pastel, you could get expert uh, gray pass. Let me show you my colors. These how they look. This was for twenty dollars. So I got this in ten dollars because I use my coupon. So this is a drawing pad. If you're starting oil pastels, you could use this. Let me show you what is in here. I draw some time. So I got this from dollar store for one dollar or or you could take a printer paper so I draw this a fish and when you're really good at pastels you could take cancel cancel and pastel they're like this they have lots of shades as you could see so I got this from Michael. You could order it from Amazon. So I first when I used to did not know who oh, oil pastel, I used this drawing pad. Then when I was good, I used Canson pastel. So this is Faber Castle. I got this from Michaels and this is 8B. And this is a dark pencil and it's worth it. Guys, now I'll tell you how I use my oil pastel. The here will be light pressure, here will be heavy pressure. Always start with the dark color and then end with the light color. I'm using red first because it's the dark color. Now use yellow. Always overlap the color. Now heavy pressure. Now I'll use yellow. Always put the dark color up and the light color in the end and see how it worked. So I put first dark and, and I overlapped it with yellow and it now the turn the yellow now it showed up orange. So guys, let's see if first if we do yellow color first and then the dark color and we overlap it. Now you use red. Could you see that much the orange? No, right? That's why you should always put the dark color in the first place, then the light color in the last place. guys mostly I use white to blend my color so let's see so first start with light pressure and then go in dark now we so I will always use white to blend I will start with light, then go to dark. See, can you see this? Looking so pretty. Guys, it totally depends on you if you want to blend and or leave it like this. 
So the first uh, one, what I'm going to blend with is my finger. That's not good. Let me show you why. Because this happens. Next is the next is stump paper. And I, I got this from Michael's. This blends good. So next is cloth. Next is cloth. Let's see how good it blends. It blends pretty good. Last is tissue paper and that's my favorite because it blends the most good. So I showed you what I blend with. These three are the best blending tools except the finger. Before I do a painting for oil pastel, I always practice in a, my book like this. And I try to get the right combinations. Like this. You will notice some that I draw in some of my videos. So guys, I use this because to protect what I made. If I would not use this, my hand will mess up what I made. So like if I was doing like this, it doesn't mess up what I already did and I showed you. But if I did not use this, it will mess up. Let me show you. It will it'll mess up. See, it messed up. So guys, when I'm done with my oil pastels, I always still store them over here with the clear sheet protector. Why do I use this clear protector sheet? Because if I would just leave it in here, it might have get dirty and the dirt will come in. So let me show you where, uh, what is this? I got this clear sheet protector from Dollar Store. And this is the one that I use for my oil pastels. Please subscribe and go ahead and try oil pastels. I will see you in next videos. Go learn, create, and enjoy. Till then, have a nice day and goodbye.